Oh, very close. Oh, he's still a cat. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. <laughs> Not even going to acknowledge it. Nah. <laughs> this is it then, Miss Naruhodo. Yes, it's time to put an end to this now. To the miserable curse that has been plaguing Mr. Natsume. To everything. And in my own small way, I shall do everything I can to help you. Let's be honest, you're the only one with logic on the side of the courtroom, so... <laughs> you're doing more than a small way. I always appreciate your help, Miss Suzato. Suffering Suzuki, so officially sidelined. Ah! Good morning to you too, Mr. Natsume. Good morning! Good morning, locum student Mr. Nohodo Esquire! Listen to you too, chatting away happily as if the main player of today's trial isn't here. Why would you do that? Why? Oh dear, we didn't mean to cause offense, Mr. Natsume. I thought perhaps that because you had your eyes shut so tightly, you were meditating, finding inner calm. It seemed wrong to disturb you. I was waiting. What's the matter, Mr. Natsume? You seem different somehow today. Why, naturally, that's because I've attained spiritual enlightenment. The path of literature, you see, is a journey to discover one's own death. Or such like. That's the sort of morning conversation I was hoping for. That's why I had my eyes shut. I missed the signs, what? I'm afraid, somehow. You'll have, have to forgive me. What? <laughs> I, I don't know how having your eyes shut implies that kind of... I don't, I don't know. So Zaki's just being so Zaki, don't mind me. And you mustn't talk of your path leading to your... And you mustn't talk of your path leading you to death, Mr. Natsume. That was just an example. Oh yes, there it is, in a calm. You, you barely came to see me at all yesterday. I, I was sure you'd abandoned me and returned to our beautiful, long-lost homeland. We've not even been in Great Britain a week yet. Yes, well anyway, I intend to set everything straight in court today. I'm determined to uncover the truth. I've actually reached an important decision myself. Oh, what sort of decision? I shall fill you in after the trial. Alright, assuming you don't die. <laughs> It would seem Mr. Shows isn't coming today after all. It's a very clever message, I think. My dear fellows, you must win this battle on your own merits. It's a very clear message, I think, that he's overslept again. The great detective, my arch nemesis. Long may he stay away, if you ask me. Defendant and your legal representative. The trial is about to begin. Make your way to the courtroom immediately. Today, once again, we face the Reaper. And when the Reaper stands for the prosecution, the defendant's fate is sealed. But I don't believe in that legend any more than I believe in Suzuki san's curse. The truth is hidden here somewhere, and I won't let it escape me. I have to keep believing in my client and keep fighting to the very end. That's all. There we go. Get right into this case. Our cry has been watching uh, Cowboy Bebop, so now the theme song is stuck in my head. Nice. This game's kind of like Cowboy Bebop. I mean, it, it is. is also fiction. <laughs> There's also cowboys. And bebops. Yeah. And bebops. 
name no. of what? <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. No, God. <laughs> no, it was a bad joke. It was a bad joke. Too late. You, you committed. I was gonna say no rock studies. <laughs> it wasn't a bad. Rock it, it wasn't a bad joke. It was pretty bad. <laughs> I've told worse on stream. Ugh, tobacco. Don't get me started. I was trying to remember what the pun was that I upset you with. I'm never going to forget tea bag, I, I forgot it as soon as stream was over, so... Well, yeah, because a bad pun for you is like a dime a dozen. You just exist in a world of bad puns, I'm sure. Excuse me, some of the puns are really good. <laughs> Give me an example. <laughs> it should I... take as long to think of an example! Because I can't think of puns in general. <laughs> I don't commit those to memory. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're saying you don't have them memorized? I haven't played that on stream, so nobody knows what that is. <laughs> yeah, references only count. <laughs> in the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I hereby declare this court to be in session. I call upon the councils for the prosecution defense to declare their willingness to proceed. <laughs> Wait, I got the gum in my mouth. <clears throat> The prosecution is ready. I didn't know they had to come back in that time period. I'm sure they did. Yes, the defense is ready. I don't know. I it's didn't also, know. I didn't know if they invented the gum tree yet. It's it's also funnier that um, he needs to remove his gun to sound menacing. <laughs> it's it's wine flavored gum. Ooh, <laughs> my my hallowed chalice. My hallowed chewing gum. You'll have to excuse me. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. And now I call upon the six ladies and gentlemen of the jury, chosen by lot to re represent the will of the people in this trial. Are you ready to proceed? I thought these ones weren't chosen by lot. They're chosen by the prosecution specifically to match the other case. <laughs> Absolutely. Justice will be done. You mark my words. Well, I feel obliged to say, I feel especially ruthless on days when my hat is sitting just right. Oh, well, I wonder if you could adjust my hat for, the, for me, and please be as ruthless as you like. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> dude number three. He's into it. He's into it. He's developing a parasocial relationship. <clears throat> thieves deserve to die, if you ask me, especially gas thieves. I have no sympathy for the man at all. Look, I said it yesterday, I'll say it again now. I don't have time for this, I got my own problems. <sighs> oh, may the Lord show us all the light here and lead his flock to a righteous verdict again today. Oh, I love him so much. <coughs> No, oh, Lord Von Zeeg, so what can you tell us? <laughs> the prosecution's report, please, for the court. In relation to theory expounded by the defense yesterday regarding the defendant's tea. Ooh. So it does have the results. Before the prosecution delivers the black news about the black tea belonging to the black god in the dark. Black, 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 pray. Let me a moment to savor a liquid of a more sanguine hue. In fact, I'll defer to the detective for the report. Here's to you, Inspector. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. As indicated by defense, we found a bar of soap just outside the victim's window in the snow. And there was indeed a frozen reddish liquid and a little depression on top of it. Yes, that's the tea. That's what Mr. Natsume brought with him that night. Mm -hmm. Well, brains of the odd analyzed it, and yes, you're right, it was tea. And there wasn't a trace of strychnine or any other toxic substance in it. No poison at all. In other words, the tea that the defendant brought with him to the victim's room 
is innocent. It's in the clear. What a revelation. Mama, 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 mama. As I suspected. This makes it quite clear. The defendant, Mr. Sekinatsume, is blameless here. Oh, if the tea is clean, you must acquit. <clears throat> My learned friend has jumped to conclusions again. A typical Nipponese reaction. What? Yes, true. No poison was found in the few drops of the liquid recovered from the soap on the window ledge. But, what logic is that? Would you take a drop from the Thames and conclude that the water in the ocean is salty? My word, the water in the ocean is extremely salty, Council. <laughs> That's what he got out of that. Exactly! Unfit for drinking, just as the victim's tea was on the night in question. That's a quarter it's already heard. <laughs> Bitter was the precise words from the lips of Mr. William Shakespeare. Whom the prosecution now calls back to the stand. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Very well, I will uphold the prosecution's request. Mr. Shamspear? Yes, it sounds like we're going to have another con confrontation with our theatrical friend. Excuse me. Bailiff, show Mr. Shamspear to the stand. <laughs> Mr. William Shamspear, the victim of its despicable crime. Oh, heaven. Oh, hell. Do you command me to remember? Forsooth, twas I, Sham Spear, did have a belly full of the foul fluid given in mine innocence. In mine innocence. Yes, but it was revealed in yesterday's proceedings. The witness is not as innocent as we had perhaps first been led to believe. By using bars of soap such as this, he's been stealing gas from the supply company, yes. One may smile and smile and be a villain. Forsooth, twas I, Sham Spear, did have a room full of the sweet fuel given. <laughs> That's right, fellow jurors, don't forget, this man is a rotten thief. I haven't forgotten. Kept all that about the ice coins a tidy secret, didn't you? I should have owned up sooner. That's a really good idea. <laughs> arrest him, I say. Arrest him at once. And don't let... <laughs> and let him feel the sting in my tail. Oh, indeed. By dint of vile and cowardly means have I plotted to further mine own ends. I confess... Thou wouldst not pardon my sins, of that I am sure. If you acknowledge you aren't wrongdoing, what exactly are you doing here? Cowards die many times before their deaths. And for a coward such as I, death be well deserved. But would it that a still greater crime passeth unpunished? For lo, the hairy-faced gentleman of further east than Verona did contrive to poison me. What? <laughs> I, I, do, I do want to henceforth refer to everything in relationship to Verona. <laughs> we live much farther west than Verona. We do. If anybody wants to dox us. <laughs> I mean, technically, uh, Japan is further west west of Verona, you just have to go even further west. Yeah, every everything is just further east or west if you try hard enough. But there was no poison in the tea found in a room. The police have attested to that. What the defense would assert is as that inconsistency will quickly be cleared up by the witness's testimony. 
Is that not so, Mr. Shamspear? Oh, I already know where this is going. Verily, my liege, I would most gladly speak. Where's it going? He's going to be like, oh, I used Natsume's leftover tea. Didn't they say that yesterday? No, he's saying that he used his leftover tea for the coins. I know, I thought that's what they said the previous day. Oh, I don't know. Probably not. Maybe. Very well. The witness testified. Explain this inconsistency. Last time we played this felt like three days ago. Tell the court why it is that poison apparently entered your body. There was none was found in the tea. The Japanese man did come to my chamber with tea brewed in a pot. Twas in my cup alone that the wicked miscreant secretly poured his wicked poison. Whilst feigning distraction in our debate, Nara did a drop of his own drink pass his lips. When he departed by and by, I did use the tea that remained in his cup to make my coins of ice. Thus, tis no surprise that poison be not found in the tea I did pour into the molds of soap. Do we even have to... I mean, we usually, I guess, press everything, but the answer is to present the teacups in that part. It's very simple. The poison was slipped into the cup after the tea had been poured. The normal way for poison to be administered, in my experience. <laughs> oh, so Quite. you have a lot of experience. Otherwise, it would be disastrous if the poisoner were to mix up the cups, for instance. But no That's why I always uh, exclusively trade cups whenever somebody gives me a drink. Yeah, that's so why I trade drink. it back and forth like four, like a, a handful of times so they lose count. And, uh, and then make them just, drink at the same time. <laughs> it's just a like coin toss at that point. But no poison was found in the scene. Because, quite simply, the Nipponese took the bottle back to his own room. Hmm. The absence of a vessel containing the poison only becomes problematic when considering suicide. Ugh, I knew that. But now it should be perfectly clear. The bar or two of cheap soap is wholly insufficient to wash the deep stains of guilt from the accused's hands. Ugh. Sirs, madams, tis true that I, Shamspear, be a common thief of gas. But, but, listen here, ladies and gentlemen. So cool. Wherefore would I lie? Verily, I have no cause. I have not to lose. That'd be a really cool superpower to be able to manually adjust. Well, I guess every, manually would be a pun in and of itself, but to be able to adjust the temperature of your hands at will. It's probably somebody has that. Like, I, I mean, in like Marvel or DC or something. To like, to, to fix the, the bent metal. Their their hero name could be Hot Hands. Hot Hands. Hot Hands. And his uh, his sidekick is Hot Pants. <laughs> well, well. I do declare. I do declare. I do declare. Oh, I am sure of them. <laughs> I speak like a Bobby Boucher. Go ahead, sorry. Thank you for your testimony, witnesses. Witness. Also, <laughs> proceed with your cross-examination. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Anything you say, my lord. <laughs> so, yeah. I already know what we're doing, so if you're pressing, it's just for the novelty of pressing. I mean, don't we like getting the dialogue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get all the goofy goofs out of the way. 
<laughs> I understand that you are already acquainted with Mr. Natsume, is that correct? I know thee not, old man. Fall to thy prayers. <laughs> Do I know thee, or know thee not? Methinks tis all I can know that thy destiny mingles with mine. Oh. You lost me at the first thee. <laughs> Zounds, sir, thou must learn the English tongue afore thou turns thy hand to lawyering. I did, but I must have missed the archaic Elizabethan lecture. Mm -hmm. Verily and in truth, Tis a fine flavored brew. Though a drop of poison did barb its sweetness, as the thorn doth barb the sweet rose. That, dear friends, be the simple truth. Listen to Mr. Shamspear. He seems even better in even better form than he was yesterday. As of that, or I'm in worse form. That faded evening after I did dine at Grub's Grubbery, a local <laughs> alehouse of good report. What? Grub's Grubbery. <laughs> <laughs> Not did pass my lips but the tainted black tea. But behold, the poison was not in the tea at first. <laughs> Shady says, well, hell, hell of a name. <laughs> where, where... Oops, I didn't mean to hit that, but... What? Where was... Where was Olive Green supposed to meet Shamspear? For, like, Shamspear? Was it at Grubbs? He just had, she just had a letter. She just had a letter. She didn't say who it was from. Listen, I'm, I'm 40 chessing 17 steps ahead. Where was she supposed to meet the uh, The slug in... I was the slug in like salad. The, uh, I, like the the the, don, the 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 clever donkey, I don't even remember. It was the slug was, and salad. The slug and salad. So it wasn't grub grubbery. No. Are you saying that you saw the moment when the poison was added to your tea? To have witnessed the act and then drank the tea, thou dost describe the actions of a fool. Quite so. Quite so. But. No one likes going thirsty, do they? Sooner would I die quenched than parched, would I have the choice. Actually, on the night in question, the water main was frozen, I believe, wasn't it? Were it not for the tea, in sooth, I would have sooner have died frozen than quenched or parched. Right, no ice coins means no heating. The witness had more than one brush with death on the night in question, it would seem. Hmm. Remind the court, Mr. Shamsphere, as to whether the accused drank any of the tea which he brought with him. With the greatest of pleasure, my liege. Most feigning distraction out of eight, and our bar from our lamps. But the teacup Mr. Natsume drank from the from was found completely empty at the scene. And let's not forget the defendant's maxim drink tea while it's hot. Drink the tea while it's hot. I did gulp from the poisoned cup that night, and in mine agony did I writhe uncontrolled. In fits of pain I did knock the fellow's cup, and its contents spilt is blood from a gaping wound, methinks. Though certainly twas after I had made the coins of ice from his tea. An upset cup was found on the table that the victim had slumped over. There is no contradictions here. It's true there was no tea left in either cup when we found it, that we found at the scene. But still, something about this statement is troubling me. Yes, of course. I know what it is. It's Mr. Natsuma's wise drink tea while it's hot, Maxim, isn't it? No, I'm not sure that's it. I mean, it technically is, though. Because of Thank his maxim. Thank you, goodness. 
he drank his tea while it was hot. Yeah, that you can't. The maxim's not proof of anything. Anybody could say anything and be like, "That's my sure, maxim." Sure, sure. My I could be like, is, I could just be like, I my mac, my maxim is don't kill people. Uh, you beat me to it. Oh, is that the that same is one? My maxim. Yeah. We share a maxim. Woo, maxim brothers. No, no, I gotta have a different maxim. Uh, you could have a maxim do kill people, but no, my maxim is uh that that funny uh australian vehicle commercial about about the the car that's about pooping lube mobile will mobile? come for you yeah. yeah that one that's my maxim oh we got to wait for the court when it is that occupied you after your guest had left and before you drank your tea it's the lube Wop, 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 wop. Oh, look at the little mouse. Normally you can't see it that well. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that you could cheat the gas company, in fact. Isn't that right? To cheat or to die. Tis life's only choice. Yes. Faith, to oh. cheat be the wise choice. And mine There's occupation little... be not an ugly one. It's a little harp string there. Yeah, they did one a little earlier, too. Oh, I didn't hear it the earlier. It's very subtle. <laughs> Prithee, dost thou, not, dost thou not see beauty in the simplicity of the ruse? No, I don't. And be very sure, sir. Once this trial is over, Ultima Gas will take you to task over this legal task. I shall not run. I shall not hide. Sooth to say, I have nowhere to run nor to hide. But my lady, what wouldst thou with this pitiful player? Oh, I tell you what I'd like to do with you. Starting with a shoddy shirt on your back. Tis time for a sham spear dance. What a harsh world we live in. The thieving of the gas was addressed in yesterday's proceedings. Prosecution calls on the defense not to muddy the waters with irrelevancy. Good to the warning, Counsel. Yes, my lord. Why am I the one in trouble here? Yeah, like Van Six does that all the time. <laughs> Let's not forget that he was uh, in court yesterday for murder. It's like, that's not relevant. Mr. Shamspear, after the accused returned to his own magic, you used this tea to make your coins. Is that correct? To cheat or to die, I did make my choice many moons ago. Many moons ago. This did no surprise the poison be not found in the tea I did pour in the bowls of soap. I'll be back. I'm going to replace my wax diffuser with a different scent. Okay, should I keep reading or? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 still, I can hear. The headphones should be long enough. Okay. If having first made your special coins, it was after two in the morning when you collapsed. That would mean that you can't have drunk any tea yourself until around that time. Once ensnared by literary debate, naught else be found in the furrows of the mind. Debate about Romeo and Juliet, you mean, and who is the stronger of the two? Juliet. Rightly did I pay no heed to the tea as I wrestled with the abominable fellow. <laughs> That's what they call me. I don't remember debates like that when I was studying. Are you suggesting that neither of you actually drank the tea whilst it was hot that evening? Bah, 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 bah. My lord, wouldst thou be privy to Shamsperian Shem wisdom? Husband, wife, and tea, ought I tepid be? Ah, yes, so very true. Everyone has different preferences when it comes to tea. 
What's your preference? I think you may have How interpreted you that tea? wrongly. Me? Yeah. I mean, I don't like a lot of teas. The only teas I like are ones that are exclusively served hot anyways. I so. like any hot beverage to be as hot as I can possibly manage to consume it during. Well, so like I, sometimes I don't want like it like, like scalding my tongue hot. Like if, if I can drink it scalding my tongue hot that day, because like sometimes I have more sensitive tongue than other days. Like I'll drink it. I love really, really hot coffee. It's like, oh, nah, when I scald my tongue, it's scalded for days and then it ruins everything I eat. Yeah, I just I like the I like the feeling of like the heat, like running down your body. Like you can almost feel it enveloping your pores. Anyways, so it's been prov proven that there was no poison in Suzuki san's tea. That should be hugely in our favor. But the atmosphere in this courtroom today. It feels as though everyone's against us, Mr. Naruto. It must be the Reaper's poison. I'm afraid that if we don't find a significant flaw in this testimony somewhere. The jury will pounce and found Mr. Natsuma guilty. It really feels like we've jumped into the fire here. I think somebody went number two in the house and it's really stinky. In, in real life or? Yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you did just step away out of camera, so we don't, we don't know what you were doing. Definitely go number two. <laughs> this is actually my toilet, okay. my bathroom. So where are, where are we? Keep going. Keep going. That one. Where's uh, that? Wait, let's... Oh, no. <laughs> I always say before we make a choice. <laughs> <laughs> just it speaks highly to your confidence in me. Nah, I just worry the one time I don't do it, it'll... <laughs> You'll like get like five penalties in one shot. Game over. Okay, so what what are we? Oh my, <laughs> my dog is howling. I don't know if you can hear it, but um, it's the teacups. These ones. Yeah. Objection. You claim that Mr. Natsume didn't drink a drop of tea in the night in question, but that's impossible. How, 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 chap logic? What <laughs> is this, ye dark eclad fiend? I should, I should rename my entire internet presence to chap logic. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. I'm chap logic. <laughs> this is my Fortnite stream. <laughs> the two teeth comes from the scene, one used by the victim and the other by the defendant. Have a clear difference between them. One that represents incontrovertible proof. Incontrovertible. What a difference. Look at the insides of the cups. Just here there's a clearly visible ring. Yes, a tea ring. Commonplace enough. Indeed, such stains occur all too readily when one leaves tea in the cup for a while. And yet, Mr. Natsume's cup has no such ring. Good lord, you're right. It's completely clean. And prithee, sir, what makes thou of it? Exactly what Mr. Natsume told the court yesterday. The Japanese saying he quoted. Drink tea. What is hot? <laughs> That's right, yes. The jittery Mr. Natsume was tr true to his usual self that night and drank his tea in no time. Uh-huh. Oh, I like that. That's the first time you see that face. If you claim in a testimony he didn't drop a touch, a touch a drop of his tea, a ring would have developed inside of his cup as well after the several hours the tea was left standing. But, um... In short, Mr. Shamspear, you clearly lied to the court. You're the sham! Get thee to a nunnery! Oh, a nunnery! Objection! Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Grape juice. 
As a rule, I failed my Halo Chalice up to seven times and one trial. We should keep track. You don't want to keep the information to yourself. I have seven glasses. Oh. <laughs> Yet on occasion, tedium distracts me and I pull more times than intended until the bottle is dry. So or you toss So the there's, no, there's, there's no point to keep track because he just said that he basically said I drink seven, seven cups of wine a trial except for when i don't except except when when he's distracted by the tediousness of the trial so then we can keep track of how many trials he thinks are tedious probably all the ones we've been in <laughs> i mean it'd, it'd be the kind of thing that i would do i'm gonna do it i'm gonna replay it after we're done uh and just count how many times he fills his shallows every case you can make an entire youtube video about it <laughs> Welcome, I'm Chop Logic, and this is my theory. <laughs> Your drinking habits are fascinating, but irrelevant. On the contrary, they illustrate the fickleness of human. <sighs> to William Shamsphere. Yes, my liege. Though you previously stated that you made the coins of ice from the leftover tea in the accused cup. Could it be that you were perhaps mistaken? Eh? Hey. Could it be that, yes, perhaps there was some tea remaining in the small teapot left at the scene? The fact that I had vanished from your memory until now. Faith, my liege, thou art a magician. For verily, tis as though thou hast seen with thine own eyes that night. What? Forsooth, I was mistook. I did plan to use tea from the Japanese fellow cup below. When I looked, twas empty. And thus did I use the dregs that festered in the teapot, as my liege did suggest. Objection. And you've just suddenly rem remembered now that you made a mistake before. Are we supposed to believe that? Objection. People's memories are imperfect, my learned friend. Which is why we rely on evidence instead. Hmm. But in any case, it makes no difference. The victim's most recent testimony tells us two things of note. Firstly, that the poison was put into the victim's teacup only. And second, that this spoiled cup was not the source of the insipid ice coins that had besmitched this court. Hmm. The prosecution makes a fine summary of the facts. Furthermore, that testimony remains valid and in full support of the established facts, in other words. The inconsistent claim by the defense simply does not exist. No. What does this mean, then? I think that's you. No, that was her. I do declare there's no issue in the ghastly system. Apart from the even gas, obviously. My lord, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I do solemnly swear, after I did dine at Grub's Grubbery Ale House that night, not did pass my lips but the black tea given me by the Japanese, whose back be stooped as low as death. And uh, what did you dine, sir? Why, I did partake of my favorites, a broth as what's be called soup, and a leaf as what's be called salad. As insalubrious a menu as the establishment where it was served. But you gods will give us some faults to make us men. Willingly would I suffer what punishment has seen fit to serve a wicked thief of gas, but I pray ye wise and noble fellows, never forget 
the simple truth. That be one thing, and this be another. Oh. Mm. Jurors all, your humble servant Shamspear doth entreat you. Punish the Japanese fellow for his sins. I think that's you. Who, who, who is this? My, my lord. If I may speak, my lord. Yes, Mr. Foreman. I believe we may have been duped by that rotten defense lawyer. <laughs> by me? I do declare you may be right. We all know the way f there was making coins of ice to keep himself warm. This lawyer lad says if she's stealing gas, he deserves a do dose of poison, eh? He's really us up the garden path, that's what he's been doing. I really never said anything like that. But what would Josh hurt for the victim there? I just open our eyes again. <laughs> we enjoy trying to get this time, and we won't be trained from it. The court acknowledges the position of the jury, Foreman. And will duly hear the jury's findings. What? No. You, you can't yet. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you will state your decisions now. Guilty. 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 I hereby declare the jury to be in one accord. Oh, happy day. How is this happening? My lord, the defense asserts its right to carry out a summation examination. Very well, the court upholds the defense's right. Typical, my lord, Nipponese friend is unable to accept the obvious truth. He added a Nipponese. Oh, <laughs> did I add a Nipponese? You did. I just, I, oh. Yeah, it was just my Oof. learned friend. <laughs> Oof, have Oof. I internalized it? Oh. The trial will therefore enter its second summation examination immediately. Judge, the court calls upon each of you to state the grounds upon which you find the defendant guilty of the crime of which he is charged. Judicial findings. Summation examination. The jurors' contentions. I'm a man of logic. Me. And I mean, considering all the evidence, the defendant must logically be guilty. I do agree that gas is far too expensive. If I can quite understand why the man would want to avoid paying. The stuff explodes and it can poison you. It's actually lethal gases. Gas doesn't come free. It costs a fortune to deliver it around the city and maintain the pipes. Truth be told, the team my wife serves up for me is a little sketchy at times. If nothing else passed the victim's lips that night, there's no other explanation, is there? Hmm, I do feel that past personal opinion about gas and its supply has influenced decisions somewhat. But never mind. No, no, you really should mind. <laughs> the truth is, our counter-argument wasn't as unsaleable as we hoped. And Mr. Shamsu was poisoned, there could be no doubt of that. Then how are we supposed to turn this around? I think... We need to establish the method by which Mr. Shamsu was actually poisoned. Our only hope is to demonstrate to that to the court is our only hope is to demonstrate that to the court incontrovertibly. But, but that's surely almost impossible at this stage. If we don't manage it though, Mr. Natsume will will be found guilty. 
Lotus Lane's console, proceed with summation examination.